Hello and welcome to Point of View. In this video we're going to discuss a sensational development in China's lunar mission. China just stopped short of challenging the US by declaring chain can land humans on the moon before 2023. Space has become another arena for US-China tensions. With echoes of the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. NASA's administrator Bill Nelson has said that the United States should watch out for Chinese attempts to dominate the lunar surface and keep Americans out. A Pentagon report last year warned that China could overtake American capabilities in space by 2045. Both Beijing and Washington have also laid out goals of building a research station on the moon and landing people on Mars. The Chinese announcement comes at a time, the US moon mission is getting stalled because of a series of setbacks. The return of NASA boots on the lunar surface through the Artemis program has continued to slip as lack of funding, hardware readiness. Spacesuits and litigations have tied up progress towards moon landing. On the other hand, Chan's moon mission progressing is gathering momentum. China is moving faster towards the completion of the basic model of its ambitious Phase 4 lunar probe missions and has full confidence in leaving footprints of the Chinese people on the moon by 2030. According to the chief designer of China's lunar exploration program Wu Wei Ren, China's space program has developed rapidly in recent years, while America's has often been bogged down by conflicting priorities and changing administrations. China is the only country to have successfully landed on the moon in the 21st century. And in 2019 it also became the first to land a probe on the moon's far side. While some have hoped that China and the United States could cooperate on space exploration even as geopolitical tensions rise, a provision in the US law that finances NASA bans direct cooperation with the Chinese space agency or Chinese-owned companies. China has signaled that it will cooperate with Russia on space programs. A year ago, the China National Space Administration announced a plan to begin the fourth phase of Lunar Probe program, including the launch of three missions dubbed the Chang'e 6, Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, and the construction of an international lunar research station on the moon. Wu said the Chang'e 6 mission is expected to retrieve lunar soil samples from the far side of the moon in around 2024, which will be first time humankind will collect soil samples from the far side of the Earth's natural satellite. The Chang'e 7 mission is prepared to land on the south pole of the moon, looking for traces of water. China hopes hope to find water there. If water is ever found, it would be great news for human survival on the moon. The Chang'e 8 mission, which is planned to be launched around 2028, is designed to work with the Chang'e 7 to lay the foundation for the building of a lunar research station on the south pole of the moon, to facilitate a series of experiments on lunar resources exploration and utilization. Notably, China's moon mission timeline is quite fluid. It has been changing and moving up as the country's space program makes progress and its space agency becomes more confident of its capabilities. The plan also includes the launch of the Chao 2 communications relay satellite in 2024 to support upcoming landing missions at the lunar south pole on the far side of the moon. There's a relay satellite up there, whose main function is to solve the communication problem between the Earth and them, and also support Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, as they will land in different locations. China also revealed plans to construct a moon-centered deep space internet to improve connectivity and navigation for future spaceflight missions. The country is building a satellite constellation around the moon, a system that can provide communication, navigation, and remote sensing services. This will help China carry out future deep space exploration. The satellite constellation is expected to guarantee accurate navigation and smooth communication for the landing of unmanned probes and manned spacecrafts. Besides, China has its sights set on exploring deeper space, aiming to extend the constellation to broader space areas and bring internet to the moon. It plans to build a moon-centered deep space internet which will be able to turn our Earth-centered space infrastructure into a moon-centered system that can be extended to a broader scope in the solar system. With the internet, the moon will have access to TV programs, games and the Wi-Fi network. And astronauts will never get bored on the moon. China also says it welcomes partners and scientists from across the globe to join construction of the International Lunar Research Station on the Moon, as the country plans to launch multiple spaceflight missions to finish the basic structure of the station by or before the year 2030. He said multiple countries and international institutions will be invited to take part. 
China welcomes the participation of developed countries such as the United States and European countries and hopes that BRICS countries and some underdeveloped African countries will join its International Lunar Research Station. In 2004 China formally established its lunar exploration, Project Chang'e, named after the Chinese moon goddess. In December 2020, the Chang'e 5 lunar probe brought back 1,731 grams of samples from the moon, marking the completion of the three-step lunar exploration program of orbiting, landing and return. A manned lunar landing would be a major milestone for China's and the world's space exploration. No human has been on the moon since the United States Apollo missions in the 1960s and 70s. And it could mark a significant achievement for China in its burgeoning competition with the United States in space. China's top leader, Xi Jinping, has said that the country should become a great space power. Brace yourself for an interstellar showdown as China launches into a new era of lunar dominance, aiming to surpass the US and redefine the future of space exploration. Leaving NASA's Artemis program in its lunar dust. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.